The swap from a warning light to gauge instrument cluster is one of the more popular tweaks to make along with a wiring project. Warning light sending units can be used for either pressure or temperature and are similar to an on-off switch. A warning light sending unit acts as an open circuit when engine temperature or oil pressure are within specification, but internal contacts close when pressure reaches a minimum value or coolant temperature reaches a predetermined unsafe level. A warning light wire touching ground will have the same effect as a sending unit that has been switched on due to high temperature or low oil pressure. Grounding the sending unit signal wire under hood will function as a quick bulb and sending unit check for this type of system. If grounding the wire doesn't cause the light to turn on, there's a likely break in the wire or a bad bulb in the instrument cluster. Gauge sending units still involve a ground connection, but usually work by creating resistance to ground. This means as temperature or pressure increases the sending unit, resistance decreases. This reading is carried through the signal wire to the gauge inside the car, where it is displayed as a number. In this example using a 69 Camaro, a lower resistance value at the sending unit means a higher reading at the gauge. Grounding the sending unit wire on this type of system should move the gauge to its maximum value, where no connection should show the lowest value. Manually touching this wire to ground should cause the needle to sweep from one side to the other on the gauge. This can be used to check for a break in the sending unit wire or faulty sending unit if there is no reading at the gauge. These differences are why it's so important to select the correct type of sending unit for your gauge and why it's not possible to switch gauges without also switching sending units. Aftermarket gauges will generally include or specify a particular sending unit, but may also use a stock sender. The wires supplied in one of our harnesses will carry the information to the gauge either way, but it's important to follow the gauge manufacturer's instructions to ensure a correct reading or warning light function. In addition to following us on YouTube, please check us out on Facebook, Carbuff Network, Instagram, and AmericanAutoWire.com.